Police officers from across Brazos County were at Veterans Park this afternoon to honor fellow officers who died in the line of duty. This year was the 27th annual Law Enforcement Memorial. Now we joined KX HD News reporter Chris Costa in studio and Chris, it was an officer from outside Brazos County that was honored today. Matthew and Amanda, today these officers honored Burleson County Sheriff's Deputy Adam Soders, who was killed back in mid-December. They also spoke about Colleen Police Detective Charles Dinwiddie, who was killed last Friday. They say that the impact from the loss of a fellow officer knows no boundaries. Honoring their brothers in blue, that's why officers from College Station, Bryan, Texas A&M University Police, and the Brazos County Sheriff's Office gathered at Veterans Park in College Station. It's always fitting to come back and recognize their efforts and to, to understand that sometimes uh, things don't go as we planned and, and to, to honor those who have given that ultimate sacrifice. College Station Police hosted the 27th Annual Law Enforcement Memorial Service Wednesday, but it was bittersweet. While no officers from Brazos County died in the line of duty this year, they honored Burleson County Sheriff's Deputy Adam Soders, who was killed back in mid-December. Dispatchers, jailers, deputies, police officers, constables, all came to our aid. So it made it a little more personal here, closer to home. Law enforcement officers from all departments agree that the community of first responders extends beyond county lines. When something happens to a fellow law enforcement officer, we want to lean forward and uh, go there and help them, help their families, and recognize the sacrifices that they've made. In some ways, we may be a little bit unique in that aspect. Uh, we're very blessed to live in a county where everybody works together so well. Remembering the fallen together, no matter which badge they wear. Some members of the Soders family are in Washington, D.C. today, watching Adam's name become part of the National Law Enforcement Officer Memorial. Matthew and Amanda.